Well, it's Saturday morning, and again, like usual, we're at work. So, like 90% of most businesses in America, uh, oil and gas is the same thing. Uh, it's small business, it's small teams trying to get something big done. Uh, today, uh, like usual, I'm here on Saturday. But there's a few benefits that I get to have, being that it is a family business. And so I woke up this morning, got dressed. My son decided he wanted to come to work with me. So I told him, sure, absolutely, go get some clothes on. So he did, in the most awesome way possible, as Batman. And then now we're going to spend our Saturday working as Batman, doing awesome things. All right. Well, we're here at our manufacturing facility here in Needville, Texas. On Saturdays, it's all objective-based, so what we're going to do is walk around, look at the status and the milestones that we're hitting on all the projects that we have going on. All right, so let's go visit with everybody. All right, so one of our objectives today is what we're trying to do is build bypasses for our 60-inch passive dehydration systems. So these bypasses are fully welded out. We have to do 16 of these bad boys. The hard part of the welders, what they have to do, they can't have any air movement once they actually start welding this thing. So that means they have to build these hooches and they will have to cover this thing up even more. Let's go see if they're actually working. We got plenty on this side. So right now what they're doing is test fitting everything. You got it. I do, Andre. Sexy. <laughs> so they're fitting everything up right now. And when it's all said and done, we're gonna do a 100% x-ray on the welds, which we've done already on these. And this is when you know you got a good weld going on good consistency nothing pops on it but that requires a good fitter and a good welder all right what's cool what Croft is doing right now is we're doing recertification programs so this is an old TG we bought from one of our clients and what we're doing is holding QC holding points onto it so at this moment the QC holding point is actually a hydro testing so we will actually fill this thing full of water test it up to a 1.3 times over working pressure so what you see Juan doing in the background right now is he's actually preparing everything they resurfaced all the flanges yesterday putting bull plugs in it and allowing the air to escape so being that this is an eight tray each of these valves here is actually releasing air for these trays because any type of air inside of it will actually make it compressible and throw off the figures so their objective today is to actually do a pre-testing, get it up to 1872 PSI, hold it, make sure there's no leaks, and if that's the case, then on Monday we're going to do a recorded hydro test to put it in the data books for our clients. After a tower is hydro tested, we prepare it for sandblasting, then we do a commercial blast on it, have a QC holding point just to double check everything. And then we do a prime QC to have a certain mill thickness. And then we do a top coat on top of that as well. So this is what the finished product should look like by the time it's done. That tower was associated with a 500 MMBTU region, which were actually stripped down right now and we're going back and actually re-insulating the major components. So you see the, they're working on the small flash tank right now. 
and yesterday they finished the reboiler behind them. The other components that we broke down, so we stripped even the heat exchanger. Everything's been separated, hydro tested on all components, all the small bottles, all the small filters, the steel column, the filter and the fuel pot right there. They've all been hydro tested, ready to go. So we're also gonna be mounting the major components today. So by the time that it looks, this is kind of a small version of what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. So this is a TG regen. So the 500 regen is just bigger than this. Pretty cool, huh? This is our fuel gas conditioning system. Now this will be going out next week. So our clients are gonna be utilizing this to actually reduce the BTU of their gas before it goes into their compressors. So what we have going on right now, we finished piping, we finished hydro testing. So they're actually going back and re-insulating the cold spots that need to be insulated. And then Beto's running all the instrumentation lines. So what's left on this thing is actually instrumentation QC. And then we'll have a last unit to deliver report where we check all final quality control documents before it leaves our facility here. That's Beto. Saying hi to everybody. <laughs> 